So now we have Pete Martin and Jason Rosati. Yep, that's correct. Ah, yeah, <laughs> I had to look to Maine to see if, uh, if I pronounced things correct there. And if we mess it up, I apologize. You know, <laughs> Where names have not always been our strong point, but we are you know, actively working on improving that. And so we got Pete Martin out of Paramount BJJ and uh, Jason Rosati out of Matt Sarah slash Legion. Uh, Pete Martin is on the left in white here. Pete immediately pulls there. Looks like he's going to immediately go for the inversion game to that outside leg. I'm, I'm assuming he's going to want to play the leg lock game there, just given how actively he's trying to pummel his feet to the inside there and then invert Sitting on the outside. Really aggressively hunting for this heel hook. Nice saddle entry on the top. Yep. Going immediately for the heel hook. He's collecting both legs pretty nicely here. This is a nice... This is a nice uh, Something that technically is is really important to do in a lot of these leg lock situations, especially as people have gotten used to to the, the entries and defending them. And, you know, controlling both the legs is becoming more and more important. You see, he's he's lost. Uh, Pete had been working on collecting both of those legs, and he lost one. And so it looks like uh, Jason's able to sit up because he's got that leg clear. But really nice knockdown by Pete. Yep. There. You know, Billy, he pre-threaded his outside leg into uh, Jason's far side leg in order to sweep him back over. There he goes, collecting the far leg again. He's got both starting, now. He's got both legs under nice control. And now he's doing a really nice job controlling that far knee, that, that outside knee. He was mm -hmm. doing a really nice job man managing that and keeping that in tight. And that hook, that you know, that reap hook is, is really doing its job very yes. well. He's got it dug really nice into the thigh there. Now we're going to get some, actually some counter heel hook action uh, yeah. from Jason here. Seems a little risky from this position, though. He doesn't have Jason doesn't have extremely good control over Pete's hit. Action uh, yeah. from Jason here. Seems a little risky from this position, though. He doesn't have Jason doesn't have extremely good control over Pete's hips, and so. You're gonna get into yeah. a shootout position here. Jason's doing a Jason's good job. Jason's doing a really nice job managing that pushing ankle. Pushing it out, rolling. There and we he's go. Free there. A little bit of counteraction led to some changes in the way that Pete was attacking the legs there and disrupt it was enough disruption for him to get free. Yeah, very nice work, very nice staying calm and you know yep. in a deep in a deep leg lock entry in order to fire off your own and get on top. Yeah, that leg reap position was very challenging and not mm -hmm. a lot of people can get out of that cleanly and it was a it was a nice way to, to deal with the situation. Put a little pressure on yourself and then and then roll through to get out. Yep. Now we have Jason putting a lot of pressure in from the sort of headquarters position. Yeah, he's got his legs really low again. His knees are on the mat in order to prevent the inversion yep. from Pete to get under again. Because, you know, it, I'm guessing that that is, you know, Pete's A game. And Seemed game like going he was looking match. forward again, yeah. Yep. So if, you know, you, that you deal with oh, oh, a nice, <laughs> nice flying, flying triangle, triangle attempt. attempt. Always guard. good to see. Love to see it. Yeah, I'm curious to see if uh, Jason will decide to go knees down on the mat again to prevent those entries. Yeah. You know, once he closes the distance to get around. Yep. Knees down on the mat again. Uh, we have the names mixed. Do we? Yep. Yep, we do have the names mixed. Sorry. So uh, Jason is Jason in white and is in Pete white. is in black. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, everyone. It did and help so that his name is on the back of his jersey. Yeah, we could have caught that earlier probably. Mm -hmm. oh, so we have uh, Pete working for the body lock now. Really nice. Jason counter. tried to make an entry into the into the leg saddle again and... and Probably did it a bit too early with not not as much control as he might have needed, and, and Jason was able to cap or Pete was able to capitalize on that by grabbing up the body lock and reversing the position, and starting to pressure into pass. And now he's landed into side control. Oh, looking for that buggy choke there for a second. Yeah. You see that leg come up? It's gotten so popular with the, uh, the Tulo brothers hitting a couple. So, yeah, I think Cade hit one uh, this last weekend. Yeah, yeah, so, he did. You know, very, very impressive. Very nice to see that. You know, Pete was putting a lot of heavy pressure down with that cross face from side control, but then changed, moved to change positions a little bit, got loose, and then ended up in garden. And now uh, Jason Rosati has been able to to hit a really nice clean butterfly sweep sweep off of the the change in momentum there. That's good going for a, a nogi is looking for the top. So excellent submission. I think it's highly underrated. And 
He's got nice shoulder position for it. I like it because a lot of times it'll force your opponent to open something up. So he'll yeah. go for it. Even if you're not looking to finish with it, you have to and address here we go. it. He's got, he's oh, got he's going sub for in real. pretty nice. He, there we go. And the combination with it, I like the combination with the chin strap there because your hand, your low side hand that's behind the head is already yeah. in position. And so they defend it with, by turning their head and you can grab up to the chin strap. And he's, you know, that's a really nice yeah. combination from Jason here. And with all these uh, sub attempts here, some of them stronger, some of them weaker, but he, w what he's doing, what, what Rosati's doing here on top is keeping a lot of pressure on Pete Martin's face, which is it's frustrating to deal with it, even if they're not legitimate or, or strong submission really attempts. It's really challenging nice to deal bench with. bench press off from the bottom there to escape. Escape from Mountain, but, but then the, a shuck by pass from Pete Martin on top, and he's back into side control with his own... It's Rosati on top. Sorry, Rosati. Uh, doing a good job looking for a little bit of paper cutter. Just really putting nice pressure there, looking to kind of drive over and pass the mount. Yeah. That is time, time for our opening round. We're going to move into the points round here. Yeah, Jason Rosati was putting a, a lot of heavy pressure on the face and neck there. It can be really frustrating to deal with that. We'll yeah. see if this little break in the action to change rounds and, and rules for the next round makes much of a difference there. Yeah, it's a very, very quick round. I think we at least only give about 20 to 30 seconds. It's under a minute. It's very quick. Depending on if uh, LS needs to mop something. Yeah, it looks like we have a little mopping happening. We're back to the action here. Into the point section. Again, another pull Guard from pull. Rosati. Guard pull and then uh, an arm drag attempt right off the bat, which looked really nice, but uh, but Martin was ready for it. So I'm curious to see if he's going to try to combo the butterfly guard with back to the mount or if he's going to try to use it as an entry. Um, Pete is really doing a good job of keeping his knees flat to the mat to yeah. prevent the inversions and entries into the legs. He got elevated there with the sweep. Really nice elevator sweep from the bottoms, Very butterfly nice. elevator. Nice go behind to the back here. Pete Martin was able to, to sort of base out into... And a beautiful follow yeah. here from Rosati. He's got the back, nice. He's got some points for that. Mm -hmm. so and they do award points for the body triangle here, which I'm there a There we go, fan there's the four of. points. Yeah, yeah, points for the body triangle always made a lot of sense to me. It I does. I like that that's, the, that's in the rule set here. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing that you know more kind of prominence recently as it's just such an, a great way to fight from the back. Yeah, absolutely. And again, Pete, Pete or Jason, J going to mount here and fighting again for that Nogi Ezekiel. Yeah, he's Didn't got himself another four points, so. This is up eight. Now, Pete Martin was able to, to escape the mount here and in the process has started to attack an ankle, but, uh, but Pete Martin, or but Jason Rosati is able to to sit his butt down and prevent the inversion from the the leg attack there. Yeah, nice work now there. We're, yeah. Yeah, up eight with this much time, you kind of wonder, you know, where he's going to go if he's going to continue to have the aggressive style of attacking that he's been putting on, or if you know you have more of an incentive to be maybe a little more conservative yeah. and play defensively. Yeah, I think that the the at the rules meeting at least it was made clear that some of these stalling calls are going to be. There's another three points on the pass. Uh, the stalling calls are going to be a little bit aggressive for this, so I think de-incentivizing some of those Which I like. I that think, strategic you know, I think waiting. Needs, yeah. needs a little more aggressive stalling penalty, Absolutely. so I like that Egg Guard incorporates that into their rule set. And and Jason Martin, on the pass, made it pretty clear that he's going to continue trying to attack, which is, I think, yeah. the smart move considering the stalling he's rules trying here. To, he's trying to feed and and collect that arm that um, that Pete is using. Yeah, you know, that's a, that Pete's got this, this arm deep underneath, uh, sort of wrapped all the way around Jason, uh, and, and that's a, an effective escape, but it can also get you in a lot of trouble because you're giving them your arm, essentially, and, and mm -hmm. it looks like Jason's trying to collect that. He's yeah, got he's some really contained. He's got that knee nice and high, and he's blocking with his outside elbow in order to keep the arm framed up so you can't get your elbow. So Pete on the bottom there can't get his elbow in to better frame effectively and make some space in order to get himself out of there. And Jason's looking to collect that arm. He's he's testing it out. I think Pete's doing a nice job keeping the hand on the hip, which yes. which makes it difficult to really collect the arm to, to yeah, work for submissions. As but soon it's as you also get your hip mobile, you know, you're off balance there because the hand's on it and pushing yeah. you away. So now we ended up in a sort of traditional north-south position. And Pete's sort of he's going for the same same approach, trying to collect that inside arm, trying to put a lot of pressure on on the head. Yep. 
I'm curious to see if he'll do that same mount transition we saw in the uh, sub only time where he slides through and just slides you know, cross over to Neon Belly and end up yeah. in a nice high mount or not. This is a very similar setup he used before, but he's more in the north south than he yeah. was prior. I think um, that might I think that might be why Jason or why Pete was uh had his arm down around the hips because it makes that, that mount transition a little bit more difficult. Yeah, you, you got to get the arm at that point. Yeah. Uh, but clearly, Jason is uh, aware of that defense and is moving to, to north south to start attacking yeah. from there where he. We got one minute left in the match. Yep. Yeah. With mm -hmm. Jason up uh, 11 nothing right now. Mm hmm. Really nice sprawl down. Curious to see if he'll go for the neck here. Yep. Hands right in front. Sits back for, sits the, back guillotine for the guillotine sweep, and, and he gets the, the tap. tap. Very nice transition. It was very nice. Very nice, clean, chin strap guillotine. Pete rolled through in a, uh, an appropriate way, but the, the guillotine was locked in, and it was a little too late. It was sort of a last-ditch effort to get out of there, but... Jason Rosati takes the win with a guillotine.